Okay, the whole purpose of actually recording this video tutorial is to show you the right way to draw a trend line. Okay, this is one question that I often received from readers of a blog and therefore I would like to take this opportunity to actually uh, record this video to show you the right way to actually draw a trend line. Okay, uh, so first of all, right, you must understand there's two kind of trend line. Okay, one is uh, the support trend line while the other is the resistant trend line. Okay, so let's take a look at these two trend line now. Okay, so what you're seeing here is basically the support trend line. Okay, basically support trend line acts as a support. Okay, it's always formed below the candle. You see that? You actually serve a support price bounce of it, bounce of it before it breaks through. So this is what we call a support trend line and then later on I'll show you exactly how to draw a trend line the correct way. Okay, so the next one is a resistant trend line and the resistant trend line is often formed above okay, the candle. Can you see that? Or it's always above, it serves as resistance before the price break upwards. Okay, so these are two type of trend line that I'll be teaching you today in this uh, video tutorial. So let's take a look at it now. Okay, so what you're seeing here is basically uh, uh, one of the chart. Okay, so let, let's assume that now what we're seeing here is the most recent swing low. Can you see that? This point here is, uh, is the most recent swing low. So what we're doing is we have to identify several swing low to basically connect this uh, support trend line. So this is a trend line some people, this is the swing low people will say, this swing low. But you need to take note that we are not taking any, any swing low that we see. So if this is the most recent one, in order to connect it, you need to find the next lower swing low. You can see this is higher than this, it's not valid, not valid not valid then we find the next one that's below you can see here this very obvious this point here is the below of a which is lower than this this is also a swing low then as we go we look for any lower point okay you can see here there's a lower point okay this is even lower than this okay some people argue that this point is also one of it yes you're right this point is also one of the swing low because it's lower than this so what we do right when drawing trend line is we have to connect as many points as possible so as you can see here, this point here, let's assume this point, this point, this point, we connect them. Try to see if we actually connects. Can you see that it connects? So what we have is three point trend line. You can see one point, two point, three point. And this is pretty good trend line in fact. Okay, you can see that the price actually tested this level several times. You see it test it, test it, test it, test it several times. All the way you can see it test it, test it again here, and it bounced up. Okay, so this is itself a very strong trend line. Okay, so once it actually breaks through, you can see that it actually moves down tremendously. It actually comes back to test this trend line again. If you extend this level, right, you find that the price actually come back, test it, test it before it actually crumble downwards. Okay, this is exactly how we draw a trend line. So we are not identifying any swing low. What we have is we have a swing low. We must make sure that we have another lower swing low, another lower swing low to actually draw this support trend line. Okay, so now what we have here is you can see this point here, you say that this is lower than this, right? This is lower than this. Okay, but if you draw, you find that you only have two points. So which trend line will you use? You will use the one with three points. Okay, you get a point. So the more connection you have, the better is the trend line. Okay, so this is how I actually draw my trend line, support trend line. I hope that you understand how I do it. So let me show you to how to draw a resistant trend line. Okay, so uh, we have a chart here. You can see, let's say this, you can see this is a swing high. Okay, so what we do is we have to look for another swing high. You can see this is the another swing high that we have. Okay, then another swing high here, and we have another swing high here. So let's try to connect them. This swing high, connect to this swing high, and we extend, see if it connects again. You can see. Again, we have a three point trend line, resistant trend line, one point, two point, three point. So you can see it actually did not touch this, but it's fine because this is a three point trend line. You can see the price test it several times, test it several times, test it, test it, test it, test it. In fact, test it for a lot of time. That shows how powerful this resistant trend line is. You can test it so many times before it managed to break through, come back and test it, and it actually move all the way up. So you can see it move up, down, up, down, it move up move down and move up again okay so I hope that you guys understand exactly how to draw a trend line now 
so not just using any swing high and swing low you have to actually identify lower swing low and higher swing high to connect them and must make sure that your trend line has the maximum number of uh, connections okay you use only those that have the best number of connections as the trend line to trade 